Today on Flick Knows, we go through the showing time market stats as well as the quick stats. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in for another episode of Flick Knows. Let's hit the quick stats real quick, as we do every week. Um, so new listings, we got 24 new listings in the last seven days, pending 28 days, sold, or 28 properties. So 24 new, 28 pending, sold 13, price decreased 11. Um, let's talk about what we're seeing in inventory total. Uh, February of 23, we ended with 658. Um, March of 22, so a year ago, we ended with 657. Right on par there, 658, 657. And today we're at 657. Um, so choices of all of that, there's 237 properties that you could put under contract today. So, um, you know, we peaked last year at 450, 450 choices. Um, that was somewhere during the summertime, going into the fall. Um, you know, usually we peak around July 4th, uh, somewhere in the July time frame is where we see the most inventory sitting on the market. Um, today we're at 237 listings that we can choose from, so uh, over 200 listings lower than we saw um, last summer. Let's jump into the showing time market stats because we had some interesting statistics uh, last week when we were talking about um, thing, uh, excuse me, when we were talking about uh, pricing, right? So for a single family home, last month, the average sales price was a uh, million eight fifty eight versus 2022, which was 2.8 million. So we saw 33% decrease um, and we were like hey let's take a look at February and see what the prices are doing in February maybe we had one sale last January that really skewed the the pricing well February uh, February of 2022 2.3 million was the average sales price of a single-family home February 2023 2.7 million so we were up 20 percent year over year um, I find that very interesting. Now, number of sales, of course, is down, right? So uh, take that into account, number of sales is down, uh, but the average price of a single family home in February of 2023 was up 20%. Um, so whereas last month we were down 30%, uh, with the average being 1.8, we are up 20% with the average being 2.7. Um, in 2023. So percent of list price received, that's still down. We're still in that 96, 97%. Days on market is definitely up by a little over half. So 36 to 62 days on market. The month supply of inventory is 2.8 months. So um, I find that pretty interesting. We'll keep watching this because as time goes on, and this average is out for the year to date. So year to date between January and February, only two months that we're averaging out, single family homes are only down 10%, um, which is kind of, kind of fascinating. So we'll see what happens here in March. I think things are picking up in March. You know, we've had a couple of uh, high dollar sales. Another broker in the office is getting pretty close to his list price on a multi-million dollar uh, town home in the Breckenridge area. So, um, you know, there's things going on out there uh, right now. And I think, you know, interest rates are certainly having an effect on it. There is still some uncertainty out there in the marketplace that I think buyers can take advantage of right now. Um, let's talk about townhouses houses and condos. So average sales price in, um, in January of this year, just uh, heading to my computer here, was 796,000 so that was up 6.2 percent average sales price february of 2023 927,000 uh, so up 15 percent year over year from february of 2022 which was 800 so we're up 15 percent in february and we're up 6.2 percent in january um, overall average prices 
uh, on townhomes and condos. So percent of list price uh, was down from over 100% down to 97% uh, days on market, certainly up quite a bit, almost tripled to 45 days on market and month supply of inventory 3.3. So we're seeing things slowing down as far as the timeline that they're going, but prices are still um, moving. You know, things are, are not necessarily depreciating. Um, let's put it that way. Um, but, you know, I do think that there's a lot of pockets out there. So a couple of comments. One, I think there are some pockets out there where you can really find some good deals. Unfortunately, if you need to short-term rent, those are not pockets that uh, we're seeing prices go down in. So if short-term renting is critical, um, let's stay focused on that. I think we're gonna start seeing two different markets there, short-term rent capable, not short-term rent capable. Um, and you know we'll see price variances there. If you're not short-term renting, I think that now's the time to find some great deals, um, in particular in the wilderness area. And then, um, you know, listen, I'm telling you what's going on in the market. I'm gonna go to bat for you no matter what it looks like right now. So if we find a property that's been on the market for 45 days and we wanna throw out a low ball offer, let's do it. Let's see if we can get the conversation going. Let's see what uh, where that takes us. I think there's a couple of great opportunities on the market right now. One of them is a Lake Cliff property in Lake Dillon. Um, it's uh, in great shape, but original interior listed at around 825,000. I think that's a fantastic opportunity to buy, put some money into it and uh, refinance that money back out and have a short-term rental because it is short-term rental capable. So um, let's talk about it. If you see some properties, if you're putting some things together for you, there's some different strategies we can do. But as always, if you have any questions, team flick at summitliving.com. We're here for you. We'll catch you next week for another episode of Flick Knows.